So yes, I did go to work. After thinking about it, I realized that I no longer have the luxury of staying home when I'm sick, when this is the only income that I have right now. So I did go to work. But as I was driving to work, I had another thought pop into my mind that kind of goes along with my last video, having to do with devaluing human beings. It just seems to me that, the hist that throughout the history of Christianity, and I'm sure it's the same for Islam too, the running theme is, if you don't believe in our God, you are worth less. It's okay to slaughter you. It's okay to demean you and look at you as subhuman and imprison you and s enslave you and take away your land or kill you and take away everything from you because you're dead because why you don't believe in the god that we believe you don't you don't have the same religion that we have so you're less you are you are a lesser creature oh it's okay if those people in the old testament were all slaughtered it's okay. It makes it's perfectly justifiable because they didn't believe in God. So they were therefore evil and corrupt because you have to believe in our God otherwise you're automatically evil and corrupt. Black and white thinking. Um doesn't matter if you believe in something else that gives you morals and makes you a good person, you're still evil as far as we're concerned because you don't believe in our God. And you can't possibly be a good person if you believe in another God or have get your morals from a different source, like maybe, ooh, I don't know, how you were brought up, how your parents raised you. It just seems to me that that's the theme. It's like, that's how the Native Americans were treated. Oh, you know, they're just savages. They're just mindless savages. Probably don't even have souls because they don't believe in our God and they don't believe in our religion. So it's perfectly okay for us to rip their land from them. It's perfectly okay to rip these Africans from their, from their land, from their continent, drag them over the water, which kills most of them, just the trip, and then force them into slavery where they basically are not anything but livestock. It's okay because they don't believe in our God. They don't believe in our religion. They probably don't even have souls. They're subhuman. We can do whatever we want to them because they don't believe in our God. Same thing happened to the people in the uh, promised land when Moses came upon it and Darn it, there were people living there already. Well, shoot, what are we going to do? Well, you know, they don't believe in our God. They don't believe in our religion. So they don't really matter. It's perfectly okay, perfectly justifiable to go in there and wipe them out, completely destroy them, because our God says it's okay. I think it's really sad. I think if anything, you know, I don't know if it's actually true that religion is the leading cause of war because you know I'm, I'm not a history uh, uh, a scholar of war I, I'm not up on all the all the reasons for all the wars that ever war that ever were I know that Christianity and Islam also have been um, the motivation they have been the motivation they have been the inspiration uh, the catalyst to cause wars at least some wars, but I'm sure not all wars are caused by these religions. But what I do think is a, is a consistent pattern throughout history is these religions teach that everybody else who do not believe as you do are forfeit. They're less. They can be stomped on. They could have their rights ripped from them. They could have their lives taken away. And it's justifiable because these people are evil. 
Everybody is evil unless they believe what we believe. And if if they don't believe what we believe and they're evil, it's okay to do whatever the fuck we feel like doing to them. We can imprison them, put them behind barbed wire, kill them, take their land, kill their babies. Oh, it's okay to dash their little ones to pieces on rocks like the Bible describes because they're not they're not Israelite babies. They're such and such babies. They're the children of, you know, evil people. So it's okay to kill all those little children and dash them to pieces on rocks. It's okay to slaughter pregnant women and cut them open with swords as long as they're, they're pregnant women that don't believe in our God and therefore they're evil. Anyway, I don't want this to become yet another 16-minute thing, but I just wanted to say that that's what I think Christianity and Islam, these these religions, create. The attitude that everybody else who does not believe in these religions are less, they have less rights, they're, less pe they're lesser people, inferior people. It's okay to, you know, as long, if there was an, a, if Christianity was in power in America, I really think that, um, people who weren't Christians would would basically be treated like second-class citizens. We would be less. We would be treated as less because we were not Christians. It's even with Christianity not running the country, even though it's trying very hard to run this country, still, because Christian, Christi, Christians are the majority, everybody else in this country are considered to be less. It doesn't matter. Just watch Fox News and watch their attitudes toward atheists. And that'll convince you right there that even now the attitude toward people who do not believe in this God and do not follow this religion, we are, our rights matter less. Our comfort level matters less. The fact that your religious whatever crap all over the place makes us uncomfortable. That doesn't matter. But if we put up atheist signs, oh my God, all the Christians are in uproar. Oh my, you know, it's a tr it's it's an outrage if we put up anything that's anti-Christian. But all their crap all over the place about promoting Christianity, we aren't supposed to get outraged. We're supposed to just take it because we're less. You know our Comfort le level doesn't matter as much. What what we feel doesn't matter as much because we're lesser. So anyway, this is going to become 17 minutes if I don't shut up. So <laughs> I'm going to end this video. If you've been watching, thank you again. Bye.